action continuing our team coverage right now. NBC 15's Cassie Fabro joins us from Sims tonight. Now, Cassie, you spoke with some folks who are still bouncing back from the October tornado. And those storms may have come and gone, but that tornado hit 103 days ago here, and the memory of what happened that night hasn't gone anywhere. The tornado in Sims was part of the October tornado outbreak. It missed so many places, but it hit the Lot Road Mobile Home Park head on. Ramona Bird says incoming severe weather brings it all back. So everybody's like watching like little live rats out here. I get, you know, it's like scrumbling, scrumbling and watching. It's like, oh, is it going to happen again? Right across from Bird, the tornado ripped off a trailer's roof like a tin can. Today, there's a new home in that spot. It's got a lot of us worried because this weather's crazy. Every time a gust of wind rattles the tree branches near her, she remembers the destruction the tornado left. It was scary, scary. Trees down blocking every road, power lines twisted around them. It's crazy. It was like a battleground to me. Her home was just one of two near her left undamaged, but so much has been cleaned and replaced. She fears it could all be undone by one bad storm. And I'm not going to sleep tonight, but it'll be, a, it'll be a long time. I'll probably go into the morning hours just waiting it out. She says she'll be keeping an eye on the local weather. Ramona and her neighbors bracing themselves every time there's code red in the forecast. And the wind is blowing behind me right now, getting those wind chimes going eerily in the air. All of these residents just thinking they were grateful no one was injured last time and that nothing happens again. For now, live in Sims, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News.